Hello guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure external access to Microsoft Teams. So as an, a Microsoft Team administrator, you can log into the uh, t administrator portal and you want to go to organization device um, wide settings and then go to external access. So for the external access, as you can see here, user can communicate with other Skype for Business and Team users. If you want to allow your user to communicate with um, external users, either Skype for Business or Team user, you need to make sure it's on. And the second settings is user can communicate with Skype, us Skype user. This is the consumer Skype. As of Right now, um, you, you can turn it on, but use, um, but your Teams user will not be able to communicate with Skype user. With Skype consumer user, um, Microsoft is working on developing this, so it's on the roadmap. As of right now, um, this video is recorded on April 2020. You will not be able to communicate with consumer Skype. So, and the next one is the add a domain. You can add a domain to allow communications. Once you add a domain, just say if I want to add Microsoft.com to allow, and then I add another one called block. It's, uh, let's say CNN.com. So once you add a domain to allow, only this domain can communicate with your users. It, the block doesn't do anything anymore. So if you want to block, just say if you want to block this domain, you need to remove allowed. That means only this domain will, allow, will block other domain, they can communicate. So, so again, only Microsoft.com we are allowed to communicate with your users if you add allowed. And if you want to add more, just say if you want to add ABC, just say disney.com so as of right now disney.com and microsoft.com are the only two that allow to communicate with your users that means everything else is blocked not just cnn.com so now let's go ahead and remove um, block as you can see there is an error. Once you add block, there is an error. This is a bug in the uh, in the G uh, GUI, in the GUI. So Microsoft has a bug in this GUI. You cannot you cannot remove a domain from block. It has to have one. So just say if you want to remove um, remove CNN, you have to, gonna have to click on Add It and change. To something else maybe to a dummy um, domain like and I'm going to remove Disney I'm going to remove Microsoft so that means as of right now only CNN dummy.com domain is blocked from communicating with your user so you get the idea um it's a little confusing like i say if you have if you add to a loud list that means only that specific domain will allow to communicate everything else is blocked so that's it on the external access settings 
Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.